If you're wondering, where is the rest of his nano suit? Maybe Iron Man has used them for repairing the ship. When Captain Marvel was getting the ship back, you can take a look at the eyes of the captain and you can get to see how his eyes are filled with remorse and the pain of failure. When the ship was descending, you can see literally everyone walking out to see this. And then there's Pepper who was over there from the very beginning waiting for Tony. This really shows how much concern she was for her husband. Such a small but thought-provoking detail. The damage caused to the ship in the past movie can also be noticed in the new one. Captain America was the first one to come for Tony's help although his wife was standing over there from the very beginning. This really shows that Captain might not be emotionally available all the time but he can still provide more service than the others. After getting out of the ship, Tony says, <sighs> Lost again. It really shows that he cares more about Peter than his own physical condition. In this scene, you can get to see some cards on the table which was maybe used for passing time by the other Avengers when Tony was stuck in space. When Tony says... Here, take this. You find him, you put that on. You hide. He literally means that Captain America is so coward that he should get into the Iron Man suit to save himself from Thanos again if it really happens. That really shows how much disappointed Tony was with Captain America. Behind Tony, you can get to see that Captain Marvel is still wearing her suit inside the compound. In this scene, you can get to see Banner giving Tony Stark some meds because he is the only doctor among the Avengers in the compound. So it really makes sense. Also, you can get to see War Machine exolegs worn by Rhodes which actually helps him stay functional even after his partial paralysis. If you take a look at the hologram, the words actually deform and go backwards like a mirror reflection. You know why? Because the hologram is nothing but a reflected light which was seen from all angles by different people. And the surface about the hologram was spherical or curved you can say. Due to the changes in the angles, the device was not being able to portray the full 3D illustration of the model. So the reflection became deformed like it happens in the mirror. If the model was reflected on a flat surface like the projector does, we won't get to see such deformed letters. If you have listened to Rocket carefully and noticed the hologram, you can get to see that they were talking about another snap by Thanos which was actually done to destroy the stones. He used the stones again. It nearly killed me. Over here, you can get to see Rhodes wearing these two ornaments all the time. Only MCU and God know if they're a gift from someone special or just normal possessions of Rhodes. You can get to see that the exhaust fire color changes from yellow to white, which means lower to higher power consumption. You can see that one more time in another scene. This scene shows them crossing a layer to enter another spot in space. These layers are called jump points. Crossing each jump points through wormholes, they're getting into a new spot in the space saving their time. This theory has also been noticed in Star Trek, Stargate and Battlestar Galactica movie. Yet, it's just considered a fancy theory in our universe. Captain America was watching the photo of Peggy for the last time thinking there could be a greater war than the infinity and he might not survive this time. If you take a deep look, everyone was dressed inside the ship except for Banner because he cannot wear the Hulk suit inside this tiny compartment. In the garden, Thanos plucked the biggest fruit for himself which really makes sense according to his body size. While cooking, he was putting some white powder into the pot. Now either it's cognitive enhancing drug or it might be a natural herb. Only God knows and maybe MCU. Thanos realized the attack moments before Marvel's arrival. The first attack from Marvel was not direct either. She used her powers to weaken Thanos at first and then she jumped onto him. This really shows that a cosmic power like her also remains careful while fighting the mighty Thanos. When Natasha was asking about the stones, you can see tears in her eyes because she had a feeling of hopelessness from the very beginning that the stones are already gone and now no one can be snapped back. When Thanos replied, We used the stones to destroy the stones. You can see literally no remorse on his face while answering. He still believes that he has done the right things. When Thor behaved Thanos, Natasha got more upset thinking he was the only hope of finding the stones and now he is gone too. It was a totally shocking experience for her. You can now see Nebula closing the eyes of her dad showing she still had a little bit of love for him even after all the tortures she had to endure in the past. <sighs> Thank you, daughter. Perhaps I treated you too harshly. <laughs>
The unexpected apologies from Thanos and Ravis to deep emotions even more. The poster is actually a reference to the snap of Thanos. The words in the poster mean that we now have no hope to live for because we have lost half of our friends and family. Most of the benches in the community center are also upside down, foreshadowing the snap. Inside the garage, you can get to see the name of Lang hanging on the net. And this switch was supposed to be hit by his wife, Janet, almost five years ago, but she vanished when Thanos snapped half of the universe. You can get to see the logo of XCON on the van. Now, XCON Security Consultants is a security company founded by Scott Lang. Do you recognize this guy? Yay! Also, the book he is reading is called The Terminal Beach, which is a collection of science fiction short stories by British author J.G. Ballard, published in 1964 for the first time. You can get them from Amazon, by the way. Not likely. What, you gonna get another haircut? Listen for a face. I'm covering a lot of territory. The things that are happening on Earth are happening everywhere. This illustration really works as a proof that the snap was done to wipe out half of the universe, not just planet Earth. When Natasha was eating sandwich, you can get to see tears in her eyes. It happened after the meeting was almost done, and she found no hope from any of their briefings. This is uh, Scott Lang. We met a few years ago at the airport in Germany. I was, I was the guy Over here, Scott was talking about the airport where they first met. This place was Leipzig Airport, Germany, from Civil War. Have some eggs. I'm so confused. These are confusing times. <laughs> right. No, no, this, that's not what I, I meant. I'm, no, I, I get it. I, I'm, I'm kidding. Oh. Over here, you can get to see the Hulk talking like a normal human being. He actually altered his DNA, RNA, and other neural pathways in his lab to suppress the ego of Hulk, remain in the body of Hulk, and yet stay normal and cool like Banner. Now how did he do that in the lab is not shown in the movie. While they were taking selfies, you can get to see a Coca-Cola fridge behind them. Was that a sponsorship? Green. Did you get that? Well, you pulled this off. I remember a time when that seemed pretty impossible too. When Banner was doubting his own capabilities, Natasha was the one giving him hope, but in a very flirty way. If you know Natasha from the very beginning, you also know very well that she loves flirting with people a lot. Over here, you can get to see a picture of Howard Stark as well as Peter Parker, meaning Tony always considered him a family member. This was the picture which was taken back in Civil War while giving him an internship. When Tony was wiping out the face of his daughter, she gestured for a kiss, but Tony refused to give so. If you know Tony from the very beginning, beginning, you also know that he is not someone who likes to show his emotions for somebody. He likes to button up everything in his heart, even the love for his daughter. Why the long face? Let me guess, he turned into a baby. This scene really shows how visionary and genius Tony is that he realized the possible outcomes of the quantum realm experiment even without doing a practical experiment on his own like Lang did. I fixed it. A fully functioning time-space GPS. This scene is so nice, some of you have forgot to notice that the clothes of Hulk was not shredded anymore. Did you notice Thor using his mighty Stormbreaker for opening the caps of his beer bottles? Have you noticed the beer he is drinking? It's Innis and Gun beer produced only in Scotland where the new Asgardians have also resided. When Rocket said, Look like melted ice cream. <laughs> He was referring to Thor's fat belly that actually looked like a bright brown melting vanilla ice cream from the top to bottom. And even the little worm type alien over there was laughing at this joke. <laughs> Did you notice that hanging chair on the wall by the way? If you take a close look at the eyes of Thor, he was still crying thinking about his past failure. 